popular as gardening? Bird watching. But in order to attract the birds, you got to feed them. So joining me is Jim Pease from ISU. And Jim, give us some tips for feeding the birds this winter. Well, three things. Uh, number one, establish those feeders right now and continue feeding through the winter. They, if you put them out early in the fall, they're going to establish their routes early and they'll continue on through the winter then. Secondly, put the feeders out at various levels in various locations, preferably near some cover if you can, uh, shrubs or trees nearby or even an old discarded Christmas tree. Thirdly, put out some water, water that uh, will attract some birds that aren't going to be coming to the seed. Okay, so what should we actually feed them? There are a variety of things on the market. Certainly there are the mixed, uh, various mixes available. Many of them be very careful though because a lot of them have a lot of filler in them that really nothing will eat. Uh, so I like to, you can either create your own mix then or do as I do where I feed individual different, different kinds of seeds in, in different feeders. Hmm. Uh, number one is certainly black oil sunflower seed. It attracts the largest number of different kinds of birds to that uh, one particular seed. Secondly, you could do safflower, you can do peanuts, you can do uh, uh, niger seed, uh, uh, lots of different seeds uh, available uh, on the market. Thirdly, uh, put out some suet. Put out some suet for those woodpeckers and uh, nuthatches that are going to be attracted to that. Okay, and what about those pesky squirrels? Oh, squirrels are always a problem, <laughs> and uh, they like to, to, to come to the feeders, and really you can provide some food for them, but there are squirrel-proof feeders available, and you can put your own thought into how to foil those little burgers. All right, thanks. Well, that wraps up this season. We hope you have a good winter, and you'll join us next spring for more Gardening in the Zone.